Does your inbox look like this whenever you're testing emails locally? And typically the flow is you go to sign in, you'll have to plug in your email, like sign in with email, that'll hit some API or SMTP server. And then finally over in your inbox, you'll get that link to log in and then you can continue developing. What if I told you there's a better way? And that way is Mailhog. So Mailhog allows you to spin up an SMTP server on your local machine. So when you're doing developer testing, you don't have to send real emails via real SMTP servers and wait for those emails to go through. You can install it from the command line, but they also have a Docker container, which is my preferred way to run it. And once it's running, you get a nice little dashboard like this running on local host. And if you update the SMTP credentials in your application to point to localhost on port 1025, which is the default for Mailhog, now all of the emails that you send will be through Mailhog and you can get them instantly. So now with Mailhog set up, when I try to log in, that email will show up instantly over here in the Mailhog dashboard, and then I can click on it, sign in and get back to developing. Now, like I mentioned, this will work in any application that requires SMTP credentials. So for my example here, I'm using NextAuth, I'm using the email provider, and then I have all of these values coming from environment variables. So when I'm running in production, this SMTP server could come from SendGrid or Mailgun or AWS SES. But when I'm running locally, I can set them all to point to Mailhog. And like I mentioned, you can set up Mailhog with Docker. So I already have a Docker Compose to spin up my Postgres database. All I have to do is add a section here for Mailhog, tell it which ports to run on, and then make sure that my settings point to localhost. If you're working on any app that needs to send emails, Mailhog is the way to go when you're running things locally. If you'd like to see how I set Mailhog up with Next.js and NextAuth, check out the longer video over on YouTube so your email inbox can stop looking like this.